Truth Central. I felt it on my heart to make this video today because um, just like all of you out there, uh, I'm being bombarded. <laughs> I am being bombarded with an overload of information, an overload of information, uh, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on Facebook, um, I get all of these different chain messages, all of these inboxes. Look at this. Look at that. You need to look into this. You need to look into that. Um, just an overload of things that pertain to the events in which we are witnessing right now. You know, the coronavirus. Uh, everyone has their own theory as to what this virus is all about. Where did it come from? Is it man-made? Was it made in the laboratory? Did it come from animals? Um, some people don't think that the virus exists. They're telling you to look deeper into this, look deeper into 5G, um, population control, depopulation, vaccinations, um, RFID chip. You know, just an overload of information. And I felt it on my heart to come on here and to let everybody know that God is in control. Amen? God is in control. Uh, this shirt, okay, my, 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 my beautiful wife, she, she made this shirt. And as you can see, it's um, the, the Bible verse here out of Matthew says, Pray more and worry less. Worry less. Stop being so concerned about things that you can't change. You got people who are deep, deep, deep into the truth or movement. People who do a lot of research on the Illuminati, do a lot of research on the Luciferian agendas. I know all about that. I know all about that. And, and before I continue, I, there was a time that that's all I did. All I did was look into that stuff, the secret societies, the the Illuminati, the um, the shadow governments. I, I just really was heavy into that in, early in my walk with Christ. And I got burnt out, to be honest with you. I got burnt out from looking at it because it, it didn't do anything but make me paranoid. And it made me focus on something that I really shouldn't have been focusing on when overall... I should have just been focusing on the Lord, like each and every one of us needs to be focusing on. I'm not saying that it's a, it's a bad thing to do your research. You should always do research. I'm just saying don't dig unnecessarily. You know, it's, it's good that you stumble across a little extra information that is informative. But when you make it something that you do on a daily basis, all day, every day, and you're you're not picking this up as much, you're making a grave mistake. You're making a really big mistake. You know, God does not want us to be ignorant, but he also does not want us to be spiritually deprived either. Um, you need to make sure that you are, first and foremost, putting his word first, putting prayer first, seeking him out first, and, and allowing him to guide you in the way that you need to go, like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says for us to, um, you know, whatever it is we have on our minds, we need to bring it to God first and not lean on our own understanding. And if we bring it to him, he'll show us which way we need to go. He'll show us what is it we need to analyze, what do we need to investigate, what do we need to study, and what does it that he wants us to bring to the light. Um, I do wholeheartedly believe that this virus is not the... Um, the real culprit. I believe that it is ushering in something um, that's going to change the face of the world. I do believe wholeheartedly in the 5G. I believe wholeheartedly in that vaccinations are causing um, problems. I believe wholeheartedly that there is an agenda for depopulation. I believe all of these things, but I just don't feel led to get on a camera or to flood somebody's inbox with all of these different things overloading people. If I'm going to flood somebody's inbox, it's going to be a bunch of scripture. If I'm going to flood somebody's inbox, it's going to be about you know, salvation through Christ. I'm not going to flood somebody's inbox with things that I, I have no power in changing. It's not up to us to change the things that are happening in the world. This is prophecy, folks. 
but it is up to us to share the God, share the share the gospel, share Jesus with people, and to focus on what's important, and that is God. Keep your eyes on the Lord and not the world. Amen. You can't change what's going on out there. You can't change it. God has allowed all of these things to happen. Shouldn't you be focused on focusing on the the one that caused that? You know, there's allowing this, which is the Lord. Okay? And, and, and for this reason, it makes me kind of want to step away from social media because I'm, I'm quite frankly tired of people inboxing me, all of these different nurses talking about COVID-19 is this, COVID-19 is that. Um, it's a hoax because of this and that and 5G towers are what's really making us sick and you know, everyone has their own opinion. Everyone is digging. And like I said, I believe a lot of that stuff to an extent, but I'm not making it something that I put my focal point of, of, of focus on and my energy towards. I'm, I'm not going to do it, you know, and I, I don't feel like any true believer in Christ should be doing it either. Unless the Lord has put it on your heart to do so. Don't bring unnecessary anxieties on yourself by worrying about things that you can't control. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Pray more, worry less. If your primary focus is on the coronavirus and it's on 5G and it's on depopulation and vaccinations and the, the Illuminati, if, it's your, if your focus is on that, it's going to make you paranoid. It's going to make you fearful. It's going to make you scared to go outside. And ultimately, it's going to you know push you away from the Lord. God gave us a spirit of love and a sound mind, not a spirit of fear. Let's focus on God. Let's get back to this. This in this season that we're in, this is a season of growth. This is a season of learning. This is a season of getting back to the basics. Okay? This is a season to coming back to God. This is the season to putting this first. This shall be first no matter what. Amen. We can't control nothing else except our own salvation. Okay? And that being said, I'm going to read you some scripture here um, out of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. And it says, no one entangled in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him, please him who enlisted him as a soldier. I'm going to read that again. Okay. 2 Timothy 2, 4. No one entangled in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier this is saying that if you are in the army of the lord because we are all soldiers of christ and you're in christ if you are here to serve him and to do his will in his kingdom this is saying that you are not to entangle yourself with the affairs of this life, with the things that go on in this world, you are not to get caught up in any of that stuff. You're not supposed to be getting distracted with those things, but you're supposed to be focusing and pleasing him who enlisted you. So if you're a preacher, preach the word. Preach. Preach. If that's what you do, if you're a pastor, Watch over your congregation. Get, feed your flock. If you're an evangelist, go out in the streets and preach the gospel. Amen? If you got the gift of healing, then you make sure that you're doing that for people out there who need you. Focus on the tasks that is at hand and not the things that are going on in the world. Again, I'm not saying that we should ignore those things. We should acknowledge them. But we should not be focusing on them, saints, because you're going to bring unnecessary stress on yourself and you will lose focus as far as what's important. And that's Jesus. Amen. Let's get back to the basics. God bless everybody. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, give the channel a like and I'll see you in the next video.